Right, hello everybody and welcome back to Urban Point Films. Welcome back to UPS Roadmap. We are today walking to the forgotten, well the unfinished junction of the M49. A lot of cyclists use it now. I don't know whether that's exclusively cycles, but we're gonna have a little walk down. I think we can head up. Can we go this way? We're gonna head up on top of it. Right by Amazon over there. So that's what it's for. The, uh, so we've got a new camera, the Sony ZV-1. Uh, seems pretty good so far. A lot nicer quality. And we've got a little built-in microphone so we've got a little pop filter on it. So we're going to walk this way. I think we can go this way. Up to... There's a gate here. Up to the forgotten junction. So this, well not forgotten, but this junction is unfinished. It's completely cut off as I'll show you when we get up to the top. It's supposed to connect up to the Central Park Industrial Park in... Uh, up in Sand Beach. So, I don't know how we get actually, I don't know if you can actually get up to the top of it, onto the uh, actual junction. But yeah, it's going to, literally the M49 motorway, there's literally no junctions on it. So this will be the only junction on the M49. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys up to it now. On today's video, we're visiting a junction and the only junction of the M49, which really shouldn't even be a motorway. So it's the currently, until the junction one is completed, the it's the only motorway in mainland Britain with no junctions. It meets two different motorways at either end, the M4 which is the, for the seven, second seven crossing, or now known as the Prince of Wales Bridge, and it makes and it meets up with the M5, M5 northbound and M5 southbound, and the the number of the motorway is completely wrong. It lies uh, south of the M4 and west of the M5, so it shouldn't really be called the M49. So the M49 Avermouth Junction, which is uh, currently be currently being constructed, which has been left completely. It's just not connected to anything, so it's basically the junction to nowhere. We've done roads to nowhere. This time it is the junction to nowhere. And uh, apparently it should have opened in 2020. Well, that's why it was due to open, but the junction did not, as uh, obviously due to, mainly due to COVID restrictions. Uh, but according to Highways England, they were going to call the, uh, they were going to call it Junction 18A. Um, where the where the M5 joins the M49, they were going to call that Junction 18A. Which, uh, but this one, the this uh, this one was going to open. This one was planned to open as M49 Junction One. However, there's there's no connections currently with the main roads. There's no road leading towards Cribs. There's no road leading towards um, Central Park. So it's just completely cut off. It's just a junction that own own currently only connects with the M49. And it's been coned off so no one can get to it anyway. And they've got the signs have all been blanked out and everything. So if you want a little bit of history. So the project of the M49 Junction 1 cost £50 million. And it is, uh, and the developer of the project, Delta Properties, is yet to connect the local road network. So the junction is causing misery uh, of... After two years, it was supposed to be completed. It was supposed to be completed nearly two years ago, and uh, a battle over who is responsible for connecting a. According to Business Live, there is a battle of, uh, for over who is responsible for connecting a 50 million pound motor, motorway junction to the road network, and it's still ongoing after nearly two years. After the majority of the construction work is finished, the junction itself is in perfect order. However, there's no roads to link it to anything. And the junk, most of the work on the M49 junction near Avermouth was completed by National Highways, formerly known as Highways England, at the end of 2019, 
but it's still not in use because the link road connecting it has not been built. This is a very unusual case. The two bridge junction is due to connect Central Park, a warehouse and distribution center used by companies Tesco, Lidl, Amazon, don't forget Habu, and uh, also Warburton's. There's a bunch of other range as well. There's quite a lot of different. Right, so this is the M49 junction up here. Got all the motorway signs up on it. And as you can see, that's where the road's supposed to go. But it's not connected there. The road's just not connected, guys. I don't know what the audio is like on here. I don't think we're going to get any drone footage today either. Yeah. I'm going to try and get up to it for you guys, up to the actual junction itself. So I think there's some metal footpaths inside. Got a little underpass here for cyclists. Not sure about pedestrians, but hey ho, give it a go. And there's the signs for Central Fox, a very good cycle connections. Just not as good for, uh, for cars. That's all. Let's have a little walk up through here, guys. Through the underpass. You can hear, you can hear the rumble of the M49. But yeah, this, you know, I've done what, what's been recommended for the uh, audio on here. I've watched a couple of videos on the Sony ZD1. I'm used to Canon cameras, so apologies if there's any issues at all and you can actually walk up to it here there's the M49 there I think you go around and you can walk up uh, you can walk over to the other side I don't know where the highways England patrols are going to come down from going out on the road but I can walk on it anyway there we go Here's where you come off to go towards the M49. Should take you towards the junction with the M4. Yeah, nothing comes up or down here. You can see there's the M49 down there. Well then, yeah. That's the junction. And then vehicles have come off there. Going around this, this roundabout here, at the junction, go towards Amazon and Central Park over there. And I'm not liking the look of this sky, gotta say. Not liking the look of the sky. There's a lot of businesses down here. You've even got a travel lodge over there for people. As you can see, we're walking along it now. Absolutely insane. <laughs> uh, with the light in the background as well, I'm going to get some shots on the DSLR in here, I think. Sony's Envy One's doing a great job. We're going to step over here, guys. Over this side. And then you can see it's cut off here as well. So I don't know what they were planning on doing with this side. Obviously, they want a road extension going out. That Pilning down there to connect with Almondsbury. Don't know whether that's the plan. And Hallam goes towards Cribs Causeway this way. You can just see they've got a fence down there. And it's just cut off there. And you can see the Seven Bridge in the distance over there, guys. So, yeah, this is it. I don't, I don't particularly want to fly the drone. I'm going to attempt it though. See what we can get. I'm going to keep it in one spot so I can control it. And uh, we'll see all you guys in a bit. Yeah, there we go. Testing out the new camera, bud. Hey guys, uh, so that was the Forgotten Junction. Well, the unfinished junction of the M49, which is mainly to serve this lovely place behind me, Amazon. But yeah, junction one of the M49, because it will be the only, once it is, eventually, once they do eventually do something with this, 
It'll be the only juncture of the M49. I think they plan to set have it going to Cribs at the end later on as well. Uh, but I'm not sure, guys. I, uh, I'm really not sure. So we will see you all in the next one. Urban Point Films out.